All right, well, you guys can tell by looking at this that obviously there's not as much bondo over the surface as there was. I went through and did some rough sanding to it to help smooth it out a bit. I'm gonna run some of my mineral spirits over top of it just to help get all the excess dust and anything else that may be left setting on it off from it. So that way when I go through and I start working with the finer sandpaper, I ain't gotta worry about the stuff sticking. You might be able to see a spot like right here where it may or may not look like a little bit of a buildup. No, I'm not telling from back here from the video footage, but anyway, cleaning it up and it started sticking a bit so I'm just going to run over it clean it up get, like I said get all the junk off from it that way I can go ahead and finish working it in we have all the junk that's on it we don't need all that dirt getting in our way there that looks a little better to me. Back here anyway. I can see where it's gotta be taken down as soon as we get stuff on there and feel it out. I know it's odd, but I'm going to use a permanent marker to label off where it is that I've got to smooth it out at. I don't know if all body shops do this or not, but this is how I was taught to make sure that I always get what has to be got. That's what I'm going to do my way. That way I know I'm smoothing it all down, getting everything that has to be gotten. Something interesting happens out there, so I'll kick it back over for y'all. 
Alright, well, if you guys can see it well enough, you can tell I've got a bunch of circles. Well, them circles are all my high spots and my bondo that I've got to go through and I've got to knock it down and try to flush it off. I think I need a little bit heavier of a sandpaper to do this with, but I'm starting off with a 150, and I'm hoping that that's going to be enough. Well, not next to me, but... <clears throat> He just likes to get packed in with stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna need some heavier sandpaper for this thicker stuff. I know I tried to put it on as thin as possible, but I gotta cut that out. I don't like swearing on it. Damn, it's well, I'm good enough. But using that bomb, yeah, I gotta get that out. Oh well. Go ahead and stop that if you want, but that way I know I'll... All right, you guys. Gotta get up here nice and close with this tablet so that way you guys can get a good view of this. Where is it? Mm -hmm. right. See if I can get it to... I got half of it done. Give or take, right about where this is at, straight up, roughly, I said, roughly, kind of goes like this, and up a little bit, but that half is all done, it's completely down, all I gotta do is go over it with some fine stuff, just enough to leave just enough grit for my main primer, the main primer coat to stick to it. Got that much done today. Took me a little bit longer than I was wanting it to, but you know, like I said, perfection can be a pain in the butt. That's what I'm aiming for. Got to make everything look good, right? I want everything nice and pretty on these beautiful little cars. Oh, my poor car. No trunk oh. wood. All the stuff that's sitting in it right now. Ah. <sighs> Well, I'm not sure what time it is. All I know is that sometimes. Well, hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, please go ahead and like, share, and make sure you hit that subscribe button. The more subscribers I get, the better. Like I said, you guys, I get enough, I get enough views on this, and you guys want to see it once I get me a transmission put in this bad boy. After I get the miles broke down on her, I'm going to take her out back and I'm going to do some burnies or maybe out in the dirt road. Who knows? But, like I said, this is just the start. And like I said, you guys, go ahead and tell me what you think. You guys want to see either new grill put in this. You guys want to see me put in some new grill on this bad boy. Look at that. Pretty car. Still got to do the hood yet. But I will be buying, hopefully, the grills. Or maybe, well, you can't see it. Maybe I'll buy some rotors. You guys' choice. You let me know. Which one should I get? Like I said, I already labeled the prices. So tell me what you think.